And that was Auli E. Cravalho at the Academy Awards singing the hit song, How Far I'll Go, from Disney's Moana. The 16-year-old Hawaiian singer-actress is the voice of Moana, the youngest ever to voice a Disney princess, and the first Polynesian Disney princess. There's a lot of buzz around this young lady, and we're lucky enough to have her with us on set now, Auli E. It's so great to have you here. Thank you. That was the sweetest introduction I've ever received. Uh, oh! Thank you. <laughs> I, can't, I imagine you get a lot of very nice introductions. The rising star that you are, you were amazing at the Academy Awards. Thank was you. that the largest live audience you'd ever performed? Oh, in front of? absolutely. I had never watched the Oscars before. So that was, I mean, I knew it was going to be big. And I was right, yeah. And were you at all nervous? You looked so calm and collected. <laughs> no, I had so many butterflies. I'd been digesting my butterflies for weeks and I saw Meryl Streep in the front row. Oh, the emotions were buzzing. But you have the composure of a much more mature artist and here you are 16 oh, years old. Thank you. What is your background like? How long have you been singing? Uh, I would say for I mean, as long as I've been alive, really. I was one of those babies that, like, scream their head off and, like, one of those kids that you hear in the grocery store, like, oh, my <laughs> gosh, that child just needs to... Mm. <laughs> I was that person. So I grew up kind of screaming and developing wonderful lungs, and so... Did you come from out. a musical family? Were I'd your say parents so. singers? Um, my parents were not, but on my dad's side, it's Puerto Rican and Portuguese. My mom's side is Hawaiian. So there's a lot of different musical influences. Oh, that's so neat. Of course, you grew up in Hawaii, yes. correct? Yes, so I did. do you, and so you do, but you have a mix. You have a mixed background. You're not 100% Hawaiian on both sides. No. That's cool. I'm a mixed plate. Yeah. That's great, like the US. <laughs> and you, of course, worked with The Rock yes, and Lin Manuel mm -hmm. Miranda. What was that experience? like working on Moana with them? Oh, it was absolutely incredible. I also worked with um, Ron Clements and John Musker, absolute legends in their field. Yeah. They've created Aladdin and Little Mermaid, and I was so blessed to work with everyone on our team, really. Dwayne Johnson. I got to rub elbows with Dwayne Johnson. Um, right. Lin-Manuel Miranda is an absolute genius, and I've just had the journey of a lifetime. Incredible. Now, I understand that you were the very last girl to audition I for was. Moana. Yes, Incredible. last girl. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> and had you, when you found out you got the role, what went through your head? Um, there was a lot of screaming and a lot of <laughs> crying and just I was so grateful this film is inspired by the Polynesian culture and I've grown up in Hawaii all my life so the fact that Disney decided to shed light on how amazing our islands are in the middle of the Pacific it it's really an honor. Now, it's a huge thing, of course, to go and do a big movie like that. Was the fact that it was just your voice, did that make it a little bit easier to step into? In other words, were you less nervous about it at all because um, of that? No, no not no, at all. Not uh, at all. I had never done anything like this before. It's my first ever film. So to get into a booth, it's, it's always cold. Always the booths are cold, and then you see the directors on the other side. It was very nerve-wracking. Sure. It turned out okay. Uh, it turned out fantastic. <laughs> and I understand you were discovered. You were discovered. Tell us the story of how you were discovered by your All agent right. or and agent. It, it's an interesting story. Mm -hmm. um, I actually didn't have an agent, and I was not represented previous to Moana. I decided with my group of friends that we we were all going to audition through our school for a nonprofit organization and hopefully become the entertainment of the event and raise funds for it. So we put together an acapella mashup of different songs. We had harmonies and beatboxing. We put our best foot forward, and we didn't get through to even the first level of auditions. <laughs> but the woman who was going through those auditions, Rachel Sutton, was also the casting director for Disney. So she asked if I wanted to audition for Moana. So you got the role without even having an agent? Correct. Agents everywhere are going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> How did I miss this girl? <laughs> That's incredible. Thank and so you. now you, I understand you are also on an NBC pilot. You've yes. got a lead role. Congratulations. Yes. Tell us about Thank that. Thank you so much. It's being filmed here in New York. I'm, I mean, like, I get to put on coats and, like, cute hats and be warm and cozy. I mean, coming from Hawaii, that is just a dream come true. Tell us about your character. Okay, so Lilette, I mean, Drama High is about high schoolers and that they come from all different walks of life and they realize how important theater is. And I think all of us can relate to that. There's something about the arts that allows a story to be heard. And Absolutely. I'm so thrilled. And so now, when will you find out if the pilot gets picked up? Not for a little while. Oh, wow, so okay. we begin our pre-production um, on Wednesday, and from then on... We'll see. We'll, we'll keep our fingers see. crossed for you. Thank we you know, so Regardless, much. we're going to hear a lot more from you, Ali. So thank, thank you, you so much for coming to see us. Thanks.